Castaways, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything carnival cruising related. My name's Trevor Shelby, and joining me on this kooky, crazy carnival adventure are my good friends, Mr. Thomas Kennedy and Reese Scripture. There we go. All right, yeah, we, we got oh, buttons for that you. now. Thank you. Is that you. what you're going to do yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, you guys are too tired. That is, the too only, that is the only button you're allowed to push this episode. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow, thank you. All right, guys, settle yeah. down. Settle yeah. down. Sit back down. Come on, come on. Uh, put put your top back on. Come Cut on. it out. Come on. Come yeah, on. come on. All right. Thank you, guys. So much for joining us today. We uh, we have a very unique show uh, where we have given you, the viewer, a or listener, I guess you would say, because this is a podcast, uh, yeah. the chance to be a part of it. You yeah. are now controlling our content because now we have this speak pipe thing that's where they leave a voicemail and they can ask us questions and yeah i think it's gonna this, be a lot of fun this could be very good or very 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 bad yeah yeah because we're going anyway, into the blind time. because you were supposed to screen these things i, I was supposed to screen these <laughs> i did not screen anything I did get everybody's names put down that they put on there. Well, 90% so, of them are one person. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say 90%, but we got a we got a few good questions, and I think it's going to be a fun episode. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're also going to maybe do some tips and tricks, and I think uh, Mr. Uh, Reese over there, I think I think you've got us uh, a new segment you're starting today. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, this is going to be a fun episode. So, so did, did you guys hear about the internet news for Carnival? What? Yeah. What What are you talking about? There is another increase, the second increase this year in the internet packages. Wait, wait. When does this start? October first. Oh, okay. I'm good then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the social media package goes from 850 per day to 1020 a day. Uh, this okay. is all. This is all pre-cruise purchase. And then the value package is goes from uh, 1105 a day to 1445 a day. A day. And the premium package, which is supposed to be the high end, um, goes from 1445 to 17 dollars even. And uh, it, it does, you know, most of it is a 15% discount from if you buy it on board. But they do have a 24-hour value rate uh, package weight and a 24-hour uh, premium pass rate, which is okay. uh, $20 a day. So if you just need to hop on, $20 for a full day for uh, the value and then uh, $30 for the day for the premium. Okay. So, I mean, that's not, that's not bad if you just need it for one day. Yeah, if you need for like one day, you could kind of plan things out too a little bit if you just wanted to make it cheaper, maybe plan just a couple days where you're going to have yeah. the internet. I mean, if and, you're anything like, you know, Trevor's wife or a buddy of ours, Brian, uh, Addie's father, who were taking classes and just needed to do one test in the yeah. middle of the cruise. So. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you how well that went. So back then, they they pay, you pay by like, the the minute or something it was crazy how it worked back then and so what she did to kind of circumvent it getting too out of hand like price wise was that she had um she would load the page the test with the with the questions it was several pages and she would turn the wi-fi off and then she would answer everything turn it back on and get to the next page. <laughs> so it yeah, was, that it sounds was, like a lot of work. Yeah, it really was. A lot yeah, of rigmarole. Really yeah, it sounds like a lot of rigmarole. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of rigmarole, 
Oh, Lord. We have the new Rigamaroo Collection shirt on yes. our uh, our whatever page. It's <laughs> Go to the Facebook page. It's it, The link is there. It'll be in the description of this podcast as well, our, our merch page. But, yeah, we got the Rigamaroo Collection. Rigamaroo. <laughs> yes, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, please... I, Go out there and buy some stuff. Yes, yes. I mean, I don't know how many people want to reach level two, but uh, we've got quite a few people that have joined those ranks. So, yeah. Yeah. Of course, um, you know, we got kind of an interesting question from uh, a Megan Shelby on, you know, what level she's in, meaning she's married to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I said that that was probably a uh, a level of punishment. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we we just have to make something up for her. yeah. Yeah, obviously, you at least comp her like orgy fee, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you'd have to. <laughs> she gets a discount on the Kool Aid. Yeah. Well, well, our good friend Gary, he he's joined level two. Our good yeah. friend Steven, he's joined level two. So our yeah. good friend Catherine has joined level two officially. Yeah. Hers actually yeah. shipped today of the recording whoop, on the whoop. day we're recording. So so very cool. Very cool stuff. Congratulations. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm very excited for you. And speaking of T-shirts and today I am sporting the very fancy and spectacular have luggage will travel their shirts today i was sent it i didn't have to pay any money for it it was very nice of them and so it was a thank you for doing what we do and so they they sent it our way and i was very happy to receive that which you um, know they keep thanking us for for what we mm -hmm. do for them but i mean being acquainted, you know, affiliated yeah. with us is that is that really something to brag about? Yeah, I don't yeah, know if I it is know. or not, but I will say, if you want to go on the May twentieth cruise out of Miami on the Carnival Celebration, going to the ABC Islands, I would cannot. Come on, come on. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, so yeah. the <laughs> uh, yeah, contact um, uh, Amanda Barmore. She will get you set up on that. It's great prices. They got rooms available. Like I said, it, these rooms. It's like tickle me Elmo. <laughs> uh, don't tickle me. Ah, you know they, and, they're, they're those dolls are coming off the shelves like crazy. So and, and if Amanda has run out of her rooms, <laughs> she can send you over to. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, if man... <laughs> oh God. That is so dark. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop tickling me. <laughs> Why? Why is this my existence? <laughs> oh Lord. Anyway, and if <laughs> Amanda is out of her room, she will send you over to Siobhan Parker, the other travel agent involved in our uh, yes. family reunion group cruise. And she Parker's will get you on set the up. go. Yeah. Yep. They will get you set up either way. And there's a lot of really cool perks going on this cruise. I am so excited about it. Um, I am too. Me and Reese are going to have a blast. We're going to have so much fun. What so, about me? I don't know about you. You're not in our room. Dude. Well, yeah, but I'm going to be on the cruise. No. Yeah. We might see you there. <laughs> uh. I'm getting worried. What's going to be holding us up in the room? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's really funny. Hey, when you wave at me, you wave with all your fingers, sir. So. <laughs> you forgot one. Anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah, this cruise is going to be amazing. Uh, I, I'm not kidding when I say contact them if you're even interested in going. Or if you want to go on another cruise. 
Amanda is my personal travel agent now. So yeah, I'm she's mine too. Yeah. So she's, and, and the, the itinerary is a, I mean, they do this itinerary like, like three or four times a year. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, it's very hard to, to find this itinerary. Yeah. It's a bucket list itinerary. Yep. You can so. uh, perhaps bring your metal detector and go metal detecting with Reese. And yeah. uh, so. you could bring your drone and, uh, you know, fly around the islands with, with Reese. Drone. Well, and. <laughs> I, I don't know if you could. You uh, know. I don't know. I don't know if you do this, Reese. Do I'm this. signing you up for <laughs> hanging out with people. <laughs> I am the intern. <laughs> you're the funny one, you see. So yeah, you, you, you guys remember, come hang you, out with you're the, the, the regular who is the funny one. Yes, and we're we're not obviously not funny. I mean, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <too funny. laughs> Yeah. Well, the people well, have spoken. Well, <laughs> yes. Oh, so do we want to get to these questions or? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh, rip this band aid. Uh. <laughs> so the first one, uh, I will say it is uh, from a loyal listener <laughs> named Betty. <laughs> I hate Here we you. Go. Hello. My name is uh, Betty, and I wanted to say that I really love the show. Um, my question would be for Mr. Kennedy. Um, are you single? Uh, can you let me know? Thank you. I hate you, Trevor, because <laughs> what? Betty is your character. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, I am crying. Oh, <laughs> I hate you so much. I, that was so good. I hate you so much. Are you going to answer the woman's question? <laughs> I'm single, but not for Betty. Oh. <laughs> well, she didn't ask that. She just wanted to know. It could have been for well, her granddaughter. Or her sister, Whatever. Rebecca. Not, Betty is so. not a real person. <laughs> it's you. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. It's only a character you've been doing for the past 10 years. Come on. Maybe. So how about we get to a real question? This one is from Catherine, our newest, or well, one of our first level twos. So here we go. Yep. If you wanted to have the best birthday experience on board, would you go to main dining on your birthday or would you do specialty dining on your birthday? Well, can I answer that? Yeah, you can answer that. Well, Catherine, see, my birthday is going to be spent on uh, next year is going to be spent on the celebration on the family reunion group cruise. And we are all going to a specialty dining. We're going to do the, Teppanyaki, the bonsai teppanyaki. But the steakhouse is a really good option. I think it makes it more cozy unless you have a big group and then do the, the, the main dining room. Yeah. I have seen several people. I've even had my birthday celebrated in main dining. And I will say they, they make it special. Uh, they'll bring you out a cake. They'll give you the candle to blow out. It's the only time you'll see fire on the ship, typically. <laughs> so <laughs> they'll, uh, but they make you blow out quick. <laughs> so, so I mean, so, then it's the best you'll ever hear someone sing "Happy Birthday." Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, except for like the the what is it the baked Alaska? <laughs> so, the baked Alaska uh, doesn't come out on fire though. Yeah, it does when they when they show it off. They walk around with it on fire, and then they don't give it to you on fire. So, oh, yeah. Cool but, but no, it, uh, yeah, yeah. I think you can't really go wrong either way, but if you want something a little more intimate, then go, you know. If you don't want 60 people watching you blow out your candles, <laughs> don't go to big dining. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. So... <laughs> So this next question is from the breakfast burrito. <laughs> Hi, Gary. <laughs> Hi, Gary. 
Hola, hombres. This is the breakfast burrito from Blue Iguana. I have a question for Thomas. Why you no love me? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was Thomas. Why, you know, <laughs> why <laughs> you no love him? Why you no love him? Listen, breakfast burrito, aka Gary. Um, oh, I mean, he. It was the breakfast burrito was ranked number four. I could have left the breakfast burrito off completely. Now, now yeah. for the listeners that don't know what we're talking about. Let, let's break this down. Okay. Mr. Kennedy did a list that is on my a YouTube, YouTube page. Yeah, on his YouTube page over at the Lido Deck. And he listed the breakfast burrito as number four on his list, which blasted. On the top five breakfast menu items, you know, I... I could have left it off and replaced it with something else. There's nothing else you could replace that with. Well, well you know, whatever. I mean, oh, well, somebody, I don't know who that was, but somebody has taken issue with it. And so that's all I'm saying. Well, well, yeah, I'm taking issue with it for the past 20 weeks. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's listen to this next caller. Uh, his name is Gary. Let's compare the voices <laughs> and, see, and see what we get here. Hey, guys. Gary again. Fourth time, long time. <laughs> Even a is and I just questioned this for all three of you. What do you enjoy most in, in your off time? What are some of your hobbies? What are some of your pastimes? Trevor, I know that you uh, enjoy going to your Oklahoma Dodgers games, but... Other than that, you know, are you guys uh, outdoorsmen? Do you prefer to video game? Do you prefer to watch movies, listen to radio? You know, give us a little bit of insight into your personal lives. Thanks again. So he's wanting to know personal stuff and, you know, like yeah. what we do besides That was an actual question. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, thanks, Gary. <laughs> My social wow. security number <laughs> is... Like um, out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I practice karate in my off time. Um, I am a black belt master of the 13th level um, in um, uh, Miyagi-Do. And, <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, no, I, yeah, besides the Dodger games, I do go to quite a few Dodger games. Uh, that's been a recent thing for me, really. Uh, I love podcasting. Podcast, besides my work, which is stressful, I like to kind of unwind with something that's completely different from my work. So I disconnect like instantly. As soon as I clock out at work, I'm done with work. So I, yeah, I like podcasting. I like researching true crime cases. That's my other podcast. So. Uh, I like doing that stuff and spending time with my family, you know, my good buddies that I got on here. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sure. I read. Very outdoorsy person. Um, Trevor didn't say it, but he also likes to fish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like fishing, metal detecting, anything outdoors. I also, I also uh, look for reptiles and amphibians for photography called herping. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm with my daughter. That's about it. Very cool. Well, I mean, everyone knows that I'm Thomas, of course. Uh, but I enjoy, uh, you know, in the spring and summer, well, halfway through the summer, I'll, I'll quit. But I like to go kayaking, um, either down the Illinois River, you know, or one of the lakes here. Because um, there's six lakes within an hour's drive of me. Um, I like fishing. I suck at fishing, but I like to fish. Um, I like to go out and, uh, find little hole-in-wall restaurants to go try. Um, 
and basically, you know, just hang out and watch movies sometimes, you know, a lot. I like to go to the, to the drive-in during the summers, but other than You that, also you do know, a lot of volunteering. Yeah, I do a lot of volunteering. Uh, you know, I volunteer for Beatles Across America, um, and I, uh, I did volunteer as a volunteer kayaker for the Tulsa Ironman last year, or this past year. Um, well, that was interesting. Well, for the Bugles, how many times have you done? Tell the listeners how many how many of those have you done? The, these are funerals that you're going to. I, I, that I are... sound taps at military funerals and military events, and I've sounded taps at over probably around 175 to 200 times I've sounded taps and uh, 150 of those are were funerals. So thank you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. So it's, you know, I don't, I don't like to get thanks for it. I like to get into this. My thanks to the vets out there who you know, you did go. stuff that I wasn't able to because I was too fat and lazy. <laughs> so I get that. <laughs> I too am fat and lazy. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to – wait, I got another one that's labeled Gary number two. But I think <laughs> we'll save that one that for one. last. Uh, got, how many did we actually have of Gary's? Did I've you got, count? I've got, I've got uh, three total. So, three total. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was supposed to have gotten more. Honestly, uh -huh. I only see three. So <laughs> hopefully these are the good three. So um, we're going to go over to Steve. And this is our good friend Steve over – he's from Texas. And so uh, we got him on Facebook. He's a, he's a good friend. So here we go. Hey, guys. Steve from Denton. Uh, fulfilled my obligations for subscriptions and also for all the episodes. So I am on my way. Question for you. Now, seeing that you guys have been both on the dream and on the breeze, which one is your preference and why? Is there really that much of a difference between the two? I know they're sister ships, but there's got to be some difference that makes them interesting. Thanks a lot, guys. Keep up the good work and look forward to hearing myself on the pod. Awesome. Well, First actually, of all, I have before, never been on the dream. Oh, well, I have. But first, before we start this, Steve. Welcome to, welcome to, to level two. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome. welcome. So, <laughs> I love these buttons. So, okay. So, most recently, uh, my, my last two cruises were back-to-back -back or side-to-side, -side, I guess you'd say, cruises. And I went on the Carnival Breeze, and then I went on the Carnival Dream. And I will say, and it's probably because the breeze just got out of the dry dock, like a few weeks beforehand, it was probably uh, my favorite. Now, I, and I was also married on the breeze. So that doesn't that, that curse the breeze for you? <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> but. I, I I would say that is probably my favorite uh, out of the out of the two. So, I mean, I, I I haven't been on the dream, but I've been on the magic and, and and the the breeze, which the magic is the middle sister. And yeah, she doesn't get a lot of a lot of love lately because you know the breeze kind of outshines her sometimes, but she's still my favorite ship. Mm -hmm. uh, but. As far as the differences between the breeze and the magic are concerned, they're they're they're, they're very very slight differences. Um, but I still like the the magic better because it's where I first experienced the red frog. You know, I, I was on the third third cruise out of out of Galveston whenever it first launched. Um, we named it the Black Magic because something happened every time that we went on it. So, yeah. But very cool. Well, yeah. 
I, I, uh, the, there's something about the dream right now. Just since I was on it last, it just feels a little older. I don't know what it is. It must be the dry dock situation. Uh, but I don't know. It, I just wasn't, wasn't digging it. So, well, I mean, it is a 12 year old shit. I know. And like I said, the, the breeze just got out of dry dock. So they got a whole new carpet, all everything, a whole new non-smoking casino and everything really nice, really, really looking good. So, all right. Well, how about we go to Gary number two? Now, this this could be another Gary. This might be a different Gary. I doubt it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey there, guys. First time, long time here. I'm Gary, <laughs> and I just wanted to ask the question to Thomas. No, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> the real question is, when are you going to be considering doing your own group cruise? Do you have a certain time frame or do you want it to be after you've eclipsed a certain amount of downloads or regular listeners, or is it not even an option that's on the table? Just curious. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for all that you do for Carnival and the cruising world. Enjoy listening to all your podcasts. Thanks so much. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to have to hit the clapping again. <laughs> and, and, you know, in the answer to your question, we, we actually never really thought about it. Yeah, we never thought about it. I mean, I, would you all be like a group cruise with just us? I yeah. mean, us, I mean, I, I don't know if we could plan a group cruise. I don't know if we could either. I don't know. Uh I don't like to bring things up with maybe people I've dropped beef with. I, you, I've i been on a you, cruise with another podcast, not podcaster, but a, another YouTuber guy. Yeah, yeah uh, I have. I've been on this, uh, you, cruise you've been with that same too. Anyways, uh, and he had like a get together. And my biggest fear is if we had a get together or like a group cruise, it would be like his. So I mean, he had a fan meet and greet on the cruise, which I thought was hilarious. So, I mean, the, I mean, it, I mean the 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 family reunion group cruise, even though it's you know it, it's Trevon and Amanda's, um, you know, it kind of feels like it's everyone, all the 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 influence yeah. that are going, you know, like you, you Gary, who's going on that? Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, I. I kind of feel like that's more of like a, it's not just a single person. It's all of us doing it. So in a way we invite our listeners to that because that is kind of like our thing. So if you guys want to join us, I'm in no way. And I'm saying, you know, if you're a 70 year old listener, do I not I, want I, you to I come, <laughs> you know, I hope not. <laughs> if, yeah, I, if Betty showed up, <laughs> we're like, Toby, Toby. Oh, no. I've always wanted to meet you. I've always wanted to meet you. Betty, fuck off. No, no, I will fuck off. You, you get away from me, Rebecca. I want to speak to Thomas uh, Kennedy. He's no, my no. boyfriend. No, yes, he, he is. is not. Yes, he I've is. I've been his assistant for 50 years. I don't care. He's he not even 50 been years old. 50 years, but you know. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, so I would I would imagine that uh, you know if if that was the case, I would love that uh, if our listeners come and hang out and want to jo join us, we're going to be recording maybe a live episode or two on the carnival celebration, and so that's going to be a lot of fun, and we could get other people involved. So, like, if you're like, "Hey, guys, I'm level four, which may be a thing by then," <laughs> and oh, we're like, oh, we don't even have oh rules for level four yet. I know, but I'm just saying, like, oh my god, this is a level four. We need to have him on the podcast. So you know, you never know. So I, I honestly, and, and I'm going to throw this out there too, Gary, is I want to invite you onto the show, but I also think it'd be fun for your first time on the show is all of us together. So yeah. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. But yeah, you know, that's just my thought. Okay, we'll strike that out then. 
<laughs> what are you striking out? We'll talk about it later. No, it's not. I I can edit things out. What do you think? What? <laughs> it was one of the it was one of the suggestions for for your fill in while you're gone. <gasps> oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, we'll, we'll edit that out. <laughs> Have you already sent him an invite? Not yet. No, I was gonna wait. Oh, yeah, I was gonna. Wow. I was going to actually invite him. Is this his invite? No, because you 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 said you wanted everyone, you know, all three of us. Yeah. Well, I would. I would. I would be. uh, Let's let's a little pee if I missed the Gary episode. Okay. Let's let's cut from where I went. Scratch him out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. (laughs) <laughs> that was us rewinding. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, uh, that's all the questions we have for today. Uh, I don't have any more, but guess what? This is a really cool service. We get 30 really cool voicemails a month. If you want to fill it with just random burps and stuff, that's fine. Just go to our Facebook page or look for the link in the description of this podcast. It is called speak pipe forward slash carnival cruising podcastaways. And that's where you go to, uh, or speak pipe, speak pipe.com. Anyways, <laughs> you just got a button on there. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. You do, you know, like I'm always like when I'm on the toilet, I can like, you know, I'm always looking at Facebook. You can do it while you're on the toilet. So, hey, very cool. We'll, we'll but we'll play you, uh, you play your audio and on the podcast, and we'll see what we do there. So, we'll answer your question. Anywho, yeah. all right. So, what that do brings we have us next? To, that brings us to Mr. Reese. <gasps> Reese! Hang on. Let me do a transition. So, is that going to be Reese's transition every time? I don't know. <laughs> I need to get a better transition. I demand Reese. intro music. Yeah, you, you deserve it, sir. <laughs> that is that is some music right there. All right. The segment is called The History of Cruise Ships and Anything <laughs> Cruising Related. What? All right. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for it. Let's go. This is the story of the Princess and Victoria Luis. Technically Ooh. speaking, the very first cruise ship. Built in 1901 by American Hamburg Company and commissioned by a fellow named Albert Balin. Albert Balin, born August 15, 1857, born to Mother Buck and Father Scooter Balin. Not really their names, I couldn't find anything, but I of course. Uh, he was a German ship magnate who was dubbed the father of the modern cruise ship travel. Oh. Balin had a dream of luxury travel at the price of a ticket. While working at the Hamburg Company, he eventually got to see his dream come to fruition. Hired in 1886 by the Hamburg Company and made general director in 1899, old birdie boy had noticed that there had been seasonal lulls in shipping, and this is when he came up with the idea for sprucing up the cargo ships just enough to be called uncomfortable then charged people to stay on them for a really long time. (laughs) It wasn't an instant hit, but when the very first ship was built to be a cruise ship, the Princess and Victoria Luis, well, that's when things really started to take off. Or set sail, rather. (laughs) So when you're cruising, make sure to be thankful that they had upgraded from mattresses full of hay and a shared bucket for a bathroom. This has been the history of cruise ships and anything cruising related. We messed up the outro. 
Thank you, sir. So, no problem. you know, that the, his parents' names didn't sound too German. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, I literally I tried liked to it find, though. like, his whole history. Or on him. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, like, I found that if you go to find a grave, they'll list his parents there, too. <laughs> I'm betting his mom's name. It could have been. <laughs> so I, I, it yeah. might have been Broomhilda. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah. So, what else do we have on the table today, Mister Kennedy? Was that it? Well, I think since we're running at forty minutes right now, um, oh, we did yeah. have the top. We, we did have the top five, uh, or we could uh, of things we wanted we do in Galveston. Well, let's we push that, that off, off the next week. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do a Galveston episode. So Galveston, Texas. I think Reese has even been there. Have you? So Galveston, Texas. Yeah. So. Sweet. Very cool. Um, so we're going to do kind of a tips and tricks episode next week that's all about Galveston, Texas. If you have a question for us about Galveston, Texas or cruising out of Galveston, shoot that to us uh, through the uh, speak pipe thing and uh, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. We also have a group. Uh, both are going to have the link to speak pipe. And yeah, so if you've got a question for us about Galveston or visiting Galveston or what you should or shouldn't do, uh, definitely leave us the message and we will uh, we'll get back to you on that one. So, uh, and we'll, we'll play it and all that stuff. So all the jazz like we did today. So, but like I said, it's a Galveston filled episode. So we're gonna talk about the do's and don'ts and all the, the fun that you can have there. So uh, we thought it'd be fun to kind of update our list and we're going to kind of start going back through the different ports of call and, well, not ports of call, I guess the home ports or whatever. And uh, we're going to kind of uh, list the tips and tricks that we know of. So like we haven't cruised out of San Francisco, so I can't tell you anything there. Which so, that could change for you. Yeah, it could change for me in the future, hopefully next year. So yeah. Anyways, Anywho. well, that sounds like we are out of time. Well, I mean, like you said earlier, you launched the, the Rigamuru line this week. I'm not sure if we're going to uh, launch another line into for a little bit, but I do plan on having a new discount code out towards the end of the month. The other discount code will be expiring when this episode comes out. But the next discount code will be out, like, next week sometime. You know? Okay. So expect a discount code at some point next week after this episode. Um, I vote that the um, the code is named Rigamaru. <laughs> and you have to, like, long. figure out how that's even spelled. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so just know, everybody, you're unique, you're special, and you're loved. And remember, all the rigmarole that happens on the ship stays on YouTube. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Oh, uh, where did Reese just he, like he just <laughs> drop out? <laughs> he didn't even do the bye bye. <laughs> he was done with he us. He was just out. <laughs> wow. wow, I'll do it for him. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh,